Hey, I'm Will. Uh, this is my good buddy Mark here. Uh, we were in a band called Audio Adrenaline, but uh, we're here today to talk to you about uh, our new project called No Hope Collective. We uh, had Audio Adrenaline come to an end about three years ago, and I think that's when God started to knit in our hearts um, what would become this new season for us called No Hope Collective. Um, we call it No Hope Collective because um, you know, we, we got to plug into our local church for the first time in a lot of years, traveling audio for about 17 years. We came home, we plugged into our local church, and we were being fed. Uh, you know, we were hearing from God. Our pastor was really digging into us, and uh, we were also meeting uh, all these really cool uh, young musicians and talented people that went to our church, you know, and... Uh, so it is, it is in that kind of setting that you find the No Hope Collective taking shape. We were hanging out with dear friends of ours, writers, musicians, and all these people. And uh, that's sort of what makes up the collective part. You'll find different voices on the record, different musicians. And uh, we were writing with a bunch of people. And when we go out and do our events live, we, we take these musicians with us. So. Well, there's a lot of different music. Uh, some of it's original and some of it uh, we recorded back in the day as a group called Audio Adrenaline. <laughs> but it isn't the, um, you know, the crazy rock and roll songs uh, from Audio A that we re-recorded. It was yeah. songs like Ocean Floor, uh, Good, Life. Good Life, Hands and Feet. Yep. Uh, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, those are the three. And that, I think the big uh, reason we did that is because they connect to each of our stories so much and a big like Mark said a big part of this is testimony and sharing about what God has done what he's walked us through what he's carried us through and um, how he's been redeeming it you know and and how he can do that for anyone who gets to hear this record you know we hope that it'll be a record of encouragement to a lot of people I have a few favorite songs <laughs> um, and I was just telling Willie yesterday we were driving around that uh, build us back is probably my favorite I think my favorite song I've ever written. Uh, I co-wrote it with Jason Walker. Um, basically, it's a story of redemption, and it, it came from uh, the fact that I was in Haiti doing some mission work, working on adoption when the earthquake hit in, in 2010, uh, and I watched uh, firsthand what it was like to see God's, you know, body of believers, the church, come to the rescue of these people, uh, and I saw all the believers there in Haiti rise up and just cry out to God and mm. and you could just see these miracles take place so that particular song means a lot to me and it's based on that experience in Haiti uh, and through the earthquake um, basically the disaster that happened but then the miracles and the redemption uh, that started to well up afterwards you know another uh, another song that means a lot to me is a song called Jealous God uh, it was the first song I'd written in probably four years. Um, you know, as you can tell, my voice is still broken. Uh, and I went through a lot of different um, brokenness and kind of tragedy at the end of Audio A's career. I went through a, um, a broken marriage. Uh, and I was pretty empty. I, I never really, um, you know, moved away from God. It was just I felt numb for a few years. And I ended up in this church. Will and I went to the same church. Uh, and, and basically through the relationship with the pastor and, and some of these other incredible musicians, I started to get a lot of healing. Mm. Um, but I realized one night, uh, sitting in my backyard around a fireplace, there was a friend of mine, her name is Heidi. She was there with my wife, who uh, I've been remarried to an incredible Christian woman now for four years. And it's been awesome. But we're sitting around talking and she was like, basically explain that God wouldn't suffer anything to draw you close. You know, she said, God's jealous. And, and he's, he wants more than anything um, for there to be nothing between you and him. And he's so jealous for you that he would shed his blood for you, even go to the cross. Um, and I remember that night, I was like, man, that's, that's so true. And I wanted to write this song. So that was the, I went and hooked up with Jason and we write a lot together and we started writing it and just felt like God was, you know, writing the song for us. And we ended up with this, you know, three minute message uh, that explains, hopefully in a musical way, 
the intense romance that God feels towards us. The handsandfeetproject.org, that's the website. We're getting ready, actually very excited, we're getting ready to relaunch a brand new website that's going to be very cool for, for Hands and Feet Project. Just a lot more connectivity and interactiveness with the kids themselves down in Haiti. And, uh, but some needs, you can sponsor children uh, through the website. Uh, you can uh, see our build campaigns that are going on in several locations in Haiti. We're in Grand Guave and in uh, Jacques Mel and Port-au-Prince and we're expanding. Our uh, goal is to get to a thousand kids in the next five years that we want to have in our family and take care of them. We don't really like the word orphanage so we call it a village and we call them our, part of our family. So that's, that's a big distinction to us. But we're always uh, trying to support missionaries that are down there that are actually on the ground working at hands and feet. You know, and we have these build campaigns and some other needs that always are coming up. So, But you can go to the website and find a, a lot more about that out. Hey, I'm Mark. I'm Will. Hey, we're with the No Hope Collective. Thanks for watching Briefcast.